And welcome back. We're here with Kate, with the Real Estate with Kate segment. And today, what are we going to be talking about? We're talking about remodeling today. I think a lot of people um, really like remodeling their homes, especially if it's an older home and needs some updating. But I think there are also some misconceptions out there. Um, unfortunately, I think a lot of people think that, well, if I put $50,000 worth of work into my house, it's going to automatically increase that value by $50,000. And that's not necessarily ca the case. In fact, most of the times, it doesn't quite work that way. So my parents are doing that all the time. They're thinking about re adding things, adding yep. things. So what, what can, I be, or can they be aware of, I guess? Well, you want to think about some of the projects that will get you the most bang for your buck. So those are things like the kitchens and bathrooms. A lot of buyers will go into a house, and that's really what they're going to want to see is what does the kitchen look like, what does the bathroom look like. Those are those items that really catch people's attention. For example, adding on an office, unless someone is specifically looking for an office, just doesn't have the same pizzazz as having a really beautiful kitchen, for example. So you really want to think about the projects that are actually going to get people's attention and make your home more valuable to people. Now, as far as the inside goes, what about the outside? Do they do add-ons to the outside? Like adding a pool, I remember one time we added a pool and that, that kind of raised the, the value of it. The pools are interesting because it just depends on where you are and if you can find the right buyer. Um, pools, some people absolutely love them, some people absolutely hate them. They don't want to have to do the work or have the expense that goes along with having a pool. So a pool can be really tricky. If everybody in your neighborhood has a pool, then adding one to your house might be a good idea. But if you're the only house in that area that has a pool, it might actually make it tougher to sell. So what are some good selling points here in Grand Junction that people know about? You know, I think what people really need to focus on first are those items that aren't quite as glamorous. Things like your furnace, your roof, those big ticket items that really impact the value of your home, especially if a buyer's coming in and they notice that the roof is leaking, for example. They may not be able to overlook a, a leaking roof. Yeah. They might be able to overlook some ugly carpet. Okay, that's good. You can replace that. So. Yeah, you can replace that quite easily. And uh, what else should uh, we know, I guess, about the outside of Grand Junction and um, the homes there? You also want to make sure that you're not making your house so over the top or extravagant okay. compared to the other homes in your neighborhood. Because when you go to sell that home, you're still going to be compared to the homes in your neighborhood. And so if you're the most expensive, the most glitzy, glamorous home in that neighborhood, you're still going to be compared to those other homes that are a little bit more average, and that might actually make it tougher for you to get that value out of your home. Okay, now is it better to get a used home or uh, just a rebuild a home? It, you know, that? it depends. It okay. depends on your style. It depends on what um, character and personality you want your home to have. And it depends on if you like doing projects. There are some fantastic, gorgeous homes in Grand Junction that are old. But you just ha sometimes have to be aware that they might need a little bit more TLC. Okay, so a little taken, taken care of, huh? That's right. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to be here. Yeah.